up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol DWAC for Digital World Acquisition Company. On the left-hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right-hand side, the 30-minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will, of course, be an update. We talked about it just yesterday. A couple of key points that are slightly conflicting in my estimation. We do have a daily bar that's printed as a hammer candle, right? So the lower uh, wick would certainly indicate a response from the buyers. However, if we look at the 30-minute time frame, it's abundantly clear that this is really no more than bear flag consolidation. So bullish on the daily based on the buyer stepping up. However, a little bit more bearish on the 30 minute short term time frame perspective. So here's what I would watch out for in terms of if this is going to turn around, these are the steps that we must sort of complete. Okay, so I'm gonna come in like this uh, and I'm measuring this move here. That was of course the sell from the Monday afternoon. And you'll notice that the 38.2 was resistant on the drive higher, right? So the first step that needs to unfold here is we need to take out today's high and we need to accept above it. After that, like we discussed in yesterday's video, I'm gonna actually go ahead and remove this 88 level because now it's all about this, right? So let's actually put that 38.2 in. It was basically today's highs. These prior highs are lining up nicely with that as well. So step number one, break and accept above 86.45. We need a higher low above that area to sort of confirm that yes, this was a bit of an overdone move to the downside. But to be all out bullish on the stock, remember what that level was we discussed yesterday here, right? So 91.55 or uh, 53, rather, is the line in the sand. If you're going to be bullish, it's got to be a break up and over that because as of right now, all of these people who got suckered in late to the party on the long side on Monday, they're all overhead supply. The first place that they look to take profits or rather um, uh, break even trades would be here on the back test of 9150. So if we start getting inverted hammers around this area, indecision dojis around this area, it would be an indication to me at least that maybe it's short under the lows, looking for a rotation back lower, uh, noting that this is a failed area, right? We cannot get new buyers up and over there. People have lost interest. Now I'm not saying it has to happen that way, but 9150 is a big, big level inside of DWAC. If we can't break it, I wouldn't be overly excited excited to the upside here. To the downside, if we never even clear this 86.45 in the first place, bearish consolidation, bearish acceptance for the bear flag happens in this area, breakdowns underneath 80.77, take us at least to the support trend line on the daily, that'd be a little bit lower here, closer to 75 if it's tomorrow, and then anything underneath that, a larger breakdown, easily to the neckline of the double top. From the daily perspective, there's touch one and two, necklines way down here, obviously, at 65. I would expect a first touch bounce off of it, especially if this breakdown happens sooner rather than later, but one step at a time. I'm just pointing out the targets and some scenarios that I'm thinking about. Main levels to watch out for. If you're an upside player, we got to get up and over 91.50. If you're a downside player, I'd probably look for a more aggressive short underneath the support trend line, getting us to the neckline and then reevaluating from there. That's going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it or learned anything new today, let me know in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.